Hello. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining this webinar organized by IEFT Turkey. My name is Bhord Dube, and uh, today I'm representing MIP Politecnico di Milano, which is the business school of Politecnico di Milano, the number one technical university in Italy. Today, we would like to give you a brief description of our university and business school, the different MBA and master programs that we offer. And then we will be happy to take any of your questions that you would like to ask us about our programs, application procedures, and even the scholarship opportunities. So to begin with, I would like to uh, start by showing you a brief video of uh, our school. So to just uh, uh, brief you on what are our specialities and why you can consider it as a possible destination for your higher studies in Italy. So uh, let me quickly start with this one first. All right, so thank you very much for, for your patient viewing. I hope you liked this brief video summarizing all the highlights about MIP, who we are, and what are our key value propositions. So now we are going to uh, basically use a PowerPoint presentation to guide you in detail on the different programs that we offer. So please allow me a moment to set that up for you. So I hope you are able to view uh, the PowerPoint presentation that I'm about to get started with. And uh, if uh, Sail Chen uh, could just confirm if the, the PPT is uh, clearly visible. Yeah, yeah, we can. Is it? OK, awesome. All right. OK, so I'm going to go to slideshow mode here. And we'll begin. Okay. 
All right. Okay, so well, the objective of today's presentation is to guide you on MIT Politecnico di Milano. And we saw already in the video that uh, uh, we come from Politecnico di Milano, which is our parent university. Today, we will tell you some things about Milan as a good study destination. Then, of course, about our school, some information on our international master programs and admissions, and then the MBAs. And then finally, we will take your questions. So we already saw uh, why Milan is a great study destination to invest in as an international student. So if you come from Turkey, first of all, we are not that far <laughs> geographically speaking distance wise. So of course, we are still part of the beautiful Mediterranean, <laughs> as, you, as you call it. And so you can expect all the bounties uh, that you enjoy in your country in terms of sunshine, nature, great food, uh, culture, uh, lots of historic things to do, everything else in Milan. And then, of course, from a business point of view, we have already seen why it's a good study destination for students in order to elicit employment, job and internship opportunities during and after the program experience. And uh, of course, Milan is famous for these different things that we saw, entrepreneurial excellence, business attractiveness, arts and culture, fashion and design, sustainability. And of course, it has a great night nightlife to enjoy, which is very important for young students like you. And uh, Politecnico di Milano is basically uh, the number one technical university, as we said before. It has a long standing uh, culture and heritage of more than 150 years. And uh, we are ranked amongst the top 20 in our core uh, faculties of design, architecture, and engineering. But of course, uh, the subject of today is. Uh, MIP. So we will talk about the excellence of our business and management programs. Polytechnico also hosts PolyHub, which is uh, the one of the top five business uh, incubators and in startup district uh, in the world. So MIP is the business school of Politecnico di Milano, and we are formed by Polimi on the one hand and by a group of these Italian and multinational companies. The role of these companies is to provide us guidance on what type of skills we should impart to candidates and what are the skills which are now considered obsolete. So they should be scratched out from the curriculum of our master programs. These uh, board of directors well, not just sit on our board of directors, but they also help us in re designing and redesigning redefining the different syllabuses of our different master programs so that we are able to impart those skills which are demanded by the job market so that young graduates can you can um, access uh, good uh, internship and job opportunities after completing the program and of course, thanks to this partnership, uh, when you graduate uh, and you go out in the job market, your degrees will have an added value thanks to this kind of unique partnership that we have with these top companies. Okay, MIP is endowed with all these accreditations and rankings that you can see on the screen. Our reference rankings are the QS World University rankings. And uh, we have uh, all our MBAs are accredited by AMBA and uh, the masters by AQUIS. And then we our distance learning MBA is also accredited by AOX, which is a special accreditation for online programs. OK, so now let's get on to the description of the specializing masters that we offer. So we offer eight different master in, uh, programs, international master programs for students like you coming from outside of Italy. So they are 100% English taught programs. We will look at five programs, which we consider single degree programs, meaning one year programs that are taught completely in Italy. And uh, upon graduation of which you will receive the first level master degree from Politecnico di Milano, which is our parent university. The first program here refers to uh, deals with the topic of big data and business analytics, which is quite a, a hot topic at the moment. It's one of the most popular have and it's offered in official partnership with JFRIEL and IBM and uh, we are now recruiting for the September intake in this master you are expected to gain all the technological tools and techniques that you need to become a successful data scientist data analyst or even big data manager meaning a manager of a team of scientists and analysts in any type of company or sector the Second master program is in a slightly related topic, which is FinTech, financial technology. So this is our master in FinTech, finance and digital innovation. This is about the new digital revolution or disruption, as you may call it, that the banking, finance, 
um, retail and insurance sector is going to going through. So this program will give you all the technical tools and techniques to be at the heart of this revolution, first of all, and in a way to pioneer it. So that you know that a lot of banks today, a lot of companies in the retail e-commerce uh, uh, e-sales uh, insurance sector are now launching interesting services or spin-offs uh, which deal with digital service provision in the finance sector or in the financial services sector and this is what the program is expected to train you on the location of this program is of course milan because we are talking about programs held totally in italy and uh, a one-week study tour in the uk is foreseen in this master it's in partnership with Intesa San Paolo, Deloitte, IBM, Aviva Fabric. So you can see that we have a bank involved, we have, we have consulting, IT, and of course, insurance. Okay. Then the next program, which is very popular among our Turkish students, is the Marketing Management Program with a focus on omni-channel marketing and consumer analytics. So basically, this program focuses on all the skills that you need in order to become a successful manager to manage your company from an omni-channel point of view, which means that you have a budget at your disposal and you're expected to divide it carefully between the different channels that a company has at its disposal that it needs to use to market market a product. In the past, companies could rely on only one channel or two channel strategy, but today a company has to be present in many different channels in order to make an appeal. And that's what you, that's the skill that you learn in this program. Uh, consumer analytics is um, another dimension of using uh, digital or technological tools to study consumer behavior or purchase behavior. So we train on this as well. Uh, the location again of this program is Milan uh, with some international exchange opportunities, mainly foreseen in Spain and the UK. This program is in partnership with IBM Nielsen and UM McKen. Then the fourth single degree master program that we offer is in the field of innovation and entrepreneurship. This is a program which is for candidates who would like to create their own startup or who would like to innovate and expand their existing family business or those that would like to um, for example, uh, work in an innovative discipline in an existing company, which we call corporate entrepreneurship. Uh, the location of this particular program is Milan, but there is a possibility to attend a second optional year in Fallender in Germany, which is close to Berlin. But of course, the second year is an optional, is an option. It's not compulsory. The compulsory part of the program is the one year study period in Milan. Um, uh, this is a program which has a slightly different outcome as explained before so it's for people who have an entrepreneurial mindset who would like to create something of their own instead of uh, working uh, more traditionally for an existing company and then the final single degree program that we offer is in the field of supply chain and procurement management. This is one of the oldest topic that we have been dealing with at MIP, uh, thanks to our expertise in technical um, in the technical side of uh, business. So we come from an engineering university, therefore this kind of technical expertise is in our DNA. And by default, by nature supply chain management and operations and procurement or purchasing management are areas which require great technical expertise on parts of on the part of companies this is a master again one year uh, fully held in milan plus with the international study tour in the netherlands at rotterdam business school for one week and um, it's in uh, it's offered in partnership with whirlpool and gs1 italy Okay, so these five master programs that we saw, which is which are the programs in big data, fintech, supply chain management, entrepreneurship and innovation and marketing are one year programs, so 12 months starting in September. And the fee of these programs is 16,500 euros. We offer some scholarships that can cover up to 3,000 euros under different categories, diversity, GMAT, GRE, many other categories are on offer. So you can apply for those as well. Now we're going to move to two, sing, uh, two double degree programs that we offer with partner schools outside of Italy. One of them is the luxury management program, which is also a one year program, but it is a double degree program offered in collaboration with Neoma Business School in France. This means that the first semester of the program will be held in Reims, which is a small city in the capital of the Champagne area in France. Uh, this is basically from October until January. 
and then the second semester well actually end of january and then the second semester will be in milan with us at mip and this will be from mid february until the end of july uh, there is also another additional 6 months for any candidates who might want to take up an internship in italy for example or devote that time to the master thesis um for this particular program it's important that you have a four year bachelor degree and if you have a three year bachelor degree we need one year of full time work experience but uh, for turkish students it's simple because usually the bachelor's is often more than uh, four years Uh, the fee is nineteen thousand and five hundred euros, and uh, we don't offer any scholarships as such. And owing to the the uh, the topic, which is luxury management, uh, the two company sponsors are Prada Group, which is a leading uh, fashion company, and also uh, Champagne uh, Tetanje, which is a leading champagne manufacturer. So, uh, as you may have guessed, this is not a program completely dedicated to fashion. Although the fashion sector will be a big part of it, but uh, we cover also many other sectors, like, of course, the champagne industry, luxury food and wine and beverages, uh, luxury hospitality, uh, properties like hotels and spas, luxury tourism, lifestyle brands like Emirates, uh, and other uh, watchmaking industry, for example, luxury automobiles. Many many other sectors are covered apart from fashion. Okay, then the next double degree program that we offer is in project management, and this is an eighteen month program, so three semesters. It's offered in partnership with the University of Strathclyde Business School in Glasgow. So the first semester is four C. in one in the uk and then there's a final semester also dedicated to a master thesis or an internship which can be undertaken either in italy or in the uk depending on your choice the fee for non european candidates in this program is 18500 the topic here is project management and you will be trained up to understand all the basic concepts of project management like um, kpis critical path milestones uh, everything that you need at the basic level which you can then implement in different softwares and uh, approaches of project management we will cover all the different standards of project management as well pmi american uh, european all the different ones Okay, and then the final master program that we are presenting today is the uh, Global Master in Industrial Management. Uh, this is almost a two-year program, uh, starting in September, and it is a multi-location, multi-university, multi-degree, triple, triple degree master. And uh, the uh, partners involved are, of course, MIP and Toulouse Business School in France, Strathclyde University Business School in the UK, and the Beijing Jiatong University in China. Uh, in the past, we also had Toom School of Management on board, but uh, starting from this year, they are not involved. But in any case, the program remains triple degree, and. Uh, uh, it's a we need a 3 year bachelor degree in scientific or technical discipline this is a multi university triple degree program so basically the program will start with the first semester at sbs uk the second one will be with us in mip in italy and then the third one is a choice between uh, china or france given that uh, germany is not on board uh, anymore so the third term is a choice between china or france but in any case you will be able to spend your two years in at least three countries uh, earning three different uh, titles so this program is on the topic of industry 4.0 so it's about the fourth industrial revolution uh, smart manufacturing fully automated factories and how uh, the industrial world is coping with this technological disruption okay here are some snapshots of the different success stories of our graduates in the past years from different master programs you can see that they now work in top companies bnp paribas uh, yamaha uh yux nekta porte then we have of course luxotica which is a fashion company uefa <laughs> very uh different amazon of course then we have also some others over here uh jsk we have christian dior tommy hilfiger again luxury companies procter and gamble so we have F fmcg and uh, different uh, sectors are represented and some people have also created some interesting startups 
All right. Uh, we uh, help candidates uh, in different ways in exploring internship and job opportunities. So mainly we organize two different career days. Uh, one is uh, dedicated to internships placement and then another one for job placements. And uh, this is a snapshot from the last very big career day that we organized in the San Siro Stadium. So for those of you who love football, they uh, you know the San Siro Stadium very well. So it was quite a big event that we had to actually rent the stadium to organize it. Of course, this year, due to the COVID-19 situation, it could not be replicated face to face, but we managed to organize the whole event uh, with the same valor and uh, structure even online. OK, now if you want to apply for one of the master programs, you have to create an account on our online application platform that is applyformasters.net. There's a fee to pay of 100 euros and we need all these documents. The IELTS and TOEFL score is not uh, compulsory for all our master programs except IMPM and GMIM, which are held with UK partners. But if you have studied in English at the bachelor's level, then we are happy to waive the IELTS or TOEFL test requirement uh, as long as you pass our interview. So we saw that the fee of our programs range from uh, 16,500 to 19,500 euros and there are different scholarships available which can cover from 1,000 up to 8,500 euros depending on the program that you apply for. In any case, when you make an application, you have to sit uh, for a motivational interview which is conducted on a video platform. So it's an online interview, but you have to uh, do it on a platform and not speaking with somebody like on Skype. Okay. And then let's take a quick look on the different MBA programs that we offer. So just going back, uh, the master programs that we recently represented are for candidates who who ideally don't have any work experience. So those that have recently graduated. But if you have, if you're someone who uh, has at least three years of work experience and anything more than that, then our first recommendation are these MBA programs. Uh, for the Turkish market, for international students, of course, there is the full-time MBA, which is the most uh, uh, applicable and appealing. But we also offer the two-year international part-time MBA program if you're based somewhere close to Italy or somewhere in Europe, like at a short flying distance from Italy. And then we have the International Flex Executive MBA program, which is a distance learning MBA for more, more senior candidates with like at least 10 years of work experience. But for uh, candidates in initial stages of their career having at least three years of work experience, it is the full-time MBA that we would like to stress on. And this program is a one-year program, of course, full-time, September 2022, uh, September 2021, and 100% taught in English with also Italian language classes provided uh, within the program. And uh, our cohort size is about 60 students having six years of work experience on an average and 30 years of age and about 70 percent of our classes uh, is international uh, and representing more than 20 nationalities. And uh, at any given point of time on our campus across all the different master programs, we have more than 75 nationalities represented on the campus under one roof. And to apply for uh, the MBA program, well, let me just uh, go back and give you a quick, uh, let's say, mm, detail on the structure of the program. It's a one-year program, so you begin in September 2020. Uh, the one-year timeline is divided in six parts. And uh, the first three pillars, we call them pillars. And the first three pillars will focus on core courses in business and management, so all the basics. Then you will have two boot camps uh, on design thinking and lean startup development in pillar four. And then you can choose from four specializations in our MBA. Uh, the specializations on offer are entrepreneurship and innovation, luxury and design management, um, then digital transformation and big data and global and sustainable business. So if you would like your MBA to focus on any of these four topics, then you can choose one. If you don't want any, you can keep the MBA general as well. And then the final pillar is the project work, which is typically a three month internship in a company, or you can develop a business plan project in our incubator. OK, to apply for the MBA, as said, you need at least three years of full time work experience after the bachelor's and the application process is pretty much the same as the master's. And this is the link to apply. You can always send us your CV for a pre-assessment to check if you're eligible for uh, the program or not. Once you submit the application here, the interview 
uh, is definitely conducted on Skype, which is a one hour session. And then the MIP test, which is uh, a two hour test that we conduct online. Then the final decision on the admission and scholarship is released in about 15 to 20 days. Okay, in the MBA program, the tuition fee is 30,000 euros because it is 35,000 euros minus 5,000, which is the company sponsorship awarded by our MBA partner companies. Our full time MBA is offered in official partnership with more than 20 companies. So, one part of the tuition fee comes from these companies for all the candidates as long as they're paying for themselves. And therefore, on the net fee of 30,000 euros, you can apply for different scholarships which can cover up to 50% of the fee. There are different categories, like for expatriates and global leaders. Uh, we have the Gianluca Spina Memorial Scholarship, GMAT based, uh, country based, um, and uh, many different categories, like for female candidates as well. Okay. So with that, I come to the end of my presentation. Of course, we in normal years, not this year, but in normal years, we travel around the world, even to Istanbul, Ankara and different places in Turkey and elsewhere to meet our students face to face. Hopefully we'll be able to start redoing that from the next year. But this year, of course, we are offering several online opportunities like this one where you can actually um, get face to face with us and have an online info session or attend a webinar like this so that we can guide you in detail. But our recruiters, our recruitment team, including me, is very much available and happy to help you at throughout the selection process. OK, so now it's time for questions. So at this point, I'm going to stop sharing my PPT. And uh, I'm back here uh, in the system. OK, so uh, but that was, like, say, a quick description of the different uh, master and MBA programs that we have on offer. And I can see there are several people connected here. So now I would like to invite you all to please um, write uh, any questions in the chat uh, window. Okay, well, I have someone wishing me to have a good presentation. Thank you so much. But, well, in any case, uh, uh, if there are no questions popping up in your mind at this point of time, uh, we can assume our presentation was very clear and comprehensive. And uh, I would like to say grazie mille also to Gokche, who is uh, sending a beautiful message over here. But uh, uh, like I said, we uh, will be sending you uh, like uh, uh, a follow up email to give you all these instructions by email as well. And uh, uh, please feel free to type any question related to a scholarship that you want to know about life in Milan, anything really, and I will be happy to answer. Thanks a lot for uh, I see that Thank there you, are no questions at the moment, but let's give them a okay. moment uh, to see if there will be. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, of course. And uh, in the meantime, I can uh, send some information here in the chat window about an interesting presentation that sure. we are going to organize for uh, our master students uh, in the coming weeks so that they can connect to that as well and learn more. OK, if there are no questions, actually, I would like to start either a poll or I would like to ask a question to our participants because I can see several students are connected over here. And uh, can, uh, can I ask all of you, are you planning to apply uh, for the September 2020 intake or for the September 2021 intake? This is just uh, to understand uh, the, let's say, the uh the division of the crowd so if you could type in the chat window which year are you expecting to apply for 2020 or 2021 so that we can guide you on accordingly
Okay, well, <laughs> yes, perfect. Okay, so Gokshe is saying 2021. Well, yes, yeah. Uh, consider that the applications are actually open for uh, for this year as well. And I would like to give you some useful information also about the COVID-19 situation and which is a major concern for most people, many students this year, which is, of course, uh, by all means, very natural. Um, this year, uh, if you're expecting to apply for the fall 2020 intake and you're worried <laughs> when will the program start uh, if it will be offered online if i will be able to join or not actually uh, we have uh, uh, the assurance of course that the programs will start successfully in september so most of our master programs are due to start in mid september or end of september and the first month of each program will also be offered online so in the first month, which is mainly September to end of October, you will have the option to attend the lessons completely online or to come on campus, depending on your preference. Uh, this means that as a candidate, as an international student, you will have two arrival date options, which means that you can choose to arrive in September to start the program face to face, or you can delay your arrival up until November. So you can choose the second arrival date option in November 2020, by which time we <laughs> hope that everything will be uh, super normal. And uh, therefore, you still have the chance to apply for this year as well. And I'm going to type the final deadline for non-European students over here. So if you are still considering to apply for this year, then the very final deadline, it will be end of June. So uh, you can still uh, make an application. Also, in any case, if you are planning to join uh, next year, we and you want to give it a shot this year, we expect you to apply uh, and secure an offer in any case. And then once you're admitted and you have an offer in hand and any possible scholarship, you al always have the option to confirm for 2020 by paying the first installment, or you can directly confirm for the 2021 intake as well. But keep in mind, not just for our school, but or for all the other schools, uh, it's a good time to take advantage in the sense that uh, if you do apply this year, you are applying on a certain tuition fee. Uh, which is expected to increase next year. So if you do apply now and you want to confirm your participation even for 2021, in fact, you will lock the fee that is to be charged this year. So you will pay a bit lesser overall. But if you will start your application next year, you will be applying for a master which will have an increased fee. This is applicable for all uh, most of our programs, but even for uh, other schools as such. Okay. I'm going to send uh, an interesting link about uh, a presentation that we are going to organize on the 11th of June at 6 p.m. Italian time, uh, which our candidates can register for. And uh, well, uh, still Chen, uh, if there are no questions coming up, uh, I guess we can call it a day. Or you can ask me some commonly asked questions that you encounter, you come across from students in the so many webinars that you organize. Yeah, uh, that's a great idea. Uh, mostly people ask about accommodations and okay. uh, health, uh, health yeah. services, like absolutely, especially for the coronavirus. Yes, 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 absolutely, yeah. very important this year. So so for sure, allow me to guide you more on that. So we have uh, at our disposal a very efficient international students office, which uh, takes care of all these practical details and things for the international students. So once a candidate confirms his or her participation on the program, uh, they will be put in touch with this, this uh, office and uh, they will be providing them a list of agreed accommodation options, which we have prepared with our agreed providers for that year. So there are three types of accommodation providers in Milan that we work with. First are, of course, Politecnico di Milano residences and a select number of people can access those because for them there is high demand. Then there are private student residences that we work with. And then there are private rental options uh, that we provide uh, with the help of some special real estate and rental agencies that specialize in the services for expatriates and international students. So if a, if a candidate wants to access uh, discounted accommodation options, they can choose from one of our special providers uh, who offer special rates. 
uh, for our students but typically the cost of living uh, ranges from um, like the rent in milan ranges from 400 euros up to 800 euros per person depending on the type of place that they take and the overall living cost in milan is of course between 800 to 1200 euros per month of course the bulk of this monthly cost will go towards rent in terms of the health situation of course this year uh, the uh, this emergency situation of course created uh, uh, quite a lot of difficulty for the students but all our students uh, most of them stayed in milan and they're safe and sound i can say very proudly also that none of the staff members or their families and our students or their families were somehow infected uh, from this crisis they were managed very well at the school level as well and our international students office had like daily meetings over teams and skype with each and every student to ensure that they had uh, the right helpline numbers that they were taking all the precautionary measures we had to also intervene in helping them liaise uh, and negotiate with the different landlords for any students who went back temporarily so uh, i think uh, it's kudos to our international students office who has been very active and uh, responsive in this period to help every student but in any case right from the admissions point of view we pers- we offer a very personalized service for our students and even after the start of the program they are taken care of well by the program coordinators in terms of the program content and program delivery and uh, for practical matters like accommodation health access to doctors here in milan uh, bank accounts uh, banking uh, other practical things they are helped by the international students office and actually i'm going to send a link about the international students office itself uh, which is quite interesting for the international students connected over here because they can get a lot of useful information about uh, uh what kind of services they offer and uh, how their master or mba journey will be uh, like a safe and secure one uh with us so please allow me to send this link also uh using the chat window and now we can see that there are some questions coming up so the first one is that is from burje so does a master education provide us a work permit in the country yes definitely so after uh completing a program master or mba full time from uh, mip politecnico di milano you basically graduate from politecnico di milano which is a public university and therefore you can first apply for the permit of stay awaiting employment which is a job search visa for one year that is given to international students uh, so that they can stay in the country so that they can stay in italy after graduation and look for job opportunities and then as soon as you obtain a job contract from a company then you can apply for your work permit but all these conversion processes will be like cake walk because you are going to graduate from a public university this is not available if you graduate from a private school in italy but when you graduate from a public university like politecnico di milano this is definitely something that you will be able to access which will allow you to stay in italy access a good internship opportunity to start with then a job opportunity and eventually to settle down here as well okay and in case you want to settle down here permanently after 6 years of consecutive stay in italy you can apply for the permanent residence permit as well with no validity then i have a question from lutfie which is what kind of social activities available for international students well a lot of activities so we have dedicated activities also like we have the sailing club etc but apart from that uh, uh when everything is okay we organize a lot of aperitivos and parties so milan is really the aperitivo after like happy hours capital of the world you can say so uh most young students get together in the evening after 7 am after they are done with classes assignments everything uh to have a little drink and access a nice buffet spread which is available in every bar with the very interesting italian food to uh savor along with your drink and this is a uh, part of a cultural experience as well so this uh, is something that uh, you will enjoy almost every weekend as part of a group of young students and we organize several parties and dedicated activities uh, from MIP side as well to bring together the students of different master and MBA programs milan of course is full of cultural activities to access monuments uh museums and uh, parks uh, for example 
so it's a it's quite a fun place to be in it has all the good things that a big metropolitan city has to offer but at the same time it's not as crazy as paris or london okay then uh, i have a question from gokche about which departments in the performing arts master program okay so i believe you're asking about uh, the program that we have in performing arts management yeah we do have one uh, almost 100 percent english taught program in uh, performing arts management and this is offered in collaboration with uh, uh, the teatro alla scala academia teatro alla scala and piccolo teatro and uh, of course with a lot of other operas around europe and in the world so if you want we can send you some information on that right away if you can allow me a moment of course in the follow up drive we will uh send you all this information in detail uh, over email too but just since you asked uh about the specific master here i can already share with you the information and you can find everything about it on this link there you go so this is a program actually uh, designed for candidates who would like to make a career in the management side of the performing arts industry that could range from managing events being a manager in an opera in uh, uh, in in a theater for example so if you're interested in uh, managing any type of activity or event in the performing arts sector which could range from dancing acting theatrics um ballet to to anything else then this is a program that will train you in that uh, usually we don't ask for a special uh, type of degree uh, discipline so you can come from any bachelor degree background but uh, uh, you are expected to have a strong interest in the field of arts okay all right so if there are no more questions coming up i guess uh, selchen uh, if you can advise me on how to proceed well it seems like you already answered all the questions <laughs> probably <laughs> this is why no questions okay. <laughs> thank you so okay. much for for participating no. thank you uh, i think that if people have more questions they can definitely get in touch absolutely absolutely email. well Yes, for sure. Uh, okay, so thank you so much. On the uh, chat box, please. Your personal email or uh, yes, I'm going to share it right away. Yes, okay. of course. Uh, that way, they can contact you personally. Absolutely, I'm going to just uh, type in my details over here, so you can always get in touch with me on uh, by email, of course, and also uh, via WhatsApp in case you would like to have a short information session over a WhatsApp call. Yeah, that would be great. Okay, so here I have sent my email ID on which you can send your CV so that we can uh, pre-assess your uh, eligibility, your profile, and let you know which is the program that will be a good fit for you, uh, whether it's a master program or an MBA, which format, which topic, we can guide you on this and provide uh, and organize a detailed info session over Skype or WhatsApp, like I said. You can always uh, get in touch with me on Skype or WhatsApp as well. So Dubai underscore Meep is my Skype ID, and on WhatsApp you can reach me on this phone number. Okay, so you have now my email, Skype ID, and WhatsApp. Uh, you can get in touch with me on any medium. I'm basically in charge of the entire uh, Asia, uh, Middle East, and African market. So I will be your contact point uh, for everything throughout the selection process, and I'll be more than happy to guide you. Okay, 
So I guess on that note, uh, uh, we can call it a day. And I would like to take the opportunity to thank all the candidates over here uh, who have taken the time to attend. And uh, also, I would like to uh, extend my thank you to Sel Chen and uh, Hazal, who have been connected with me since the beginning and helping out in this uh, in this session. So it went quite smoothly. So thank you very much, and uh, uh, thanks again for uh, to our students for connecting and for their patient listening. I can say uh, to end that. Um, uh, we hope to see some of you in uh, in in Milan in September, and well this year or next year, depending on uh, your personal situation. But we just hope some of you can join us. So thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Bor. Uh, it was really great. I hope to see you in in Istanbul soon. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Thank you so much, then Silchen and Hazal. All right. Thanks a lot. Care. Thank you. Thank bye you. bye. Okay. Bye bye. Bye.